What's good with it, y'all? Welcome back to A1 Who Zone. My apologies in advance, man. I'm under the weather, but I still want to get this content out to y'all. Y'all do me a favor, man. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's get into it, man. It's a reaction video. Uh, react, we reacted to uh, Magic Johnson responding to what Anthony Edwards said, man. I got that on the screen right there for y'all so y'all can see it. Uh, I ain't going to read it all. We just going to paraphrase it pretty much. Uh, Anthony, I mean, Magic, you know, Anthony Edwards said, you know, outside of MJ and Cole back in the day, man, the, the, this generation of, uh, of basketball players is more skilled than than the yesteryear, uh, yesteryear generation of basketball. And, uh, you know, Magic, had, he had something to say about that. And, and, and you know, Magic paraphrases, and he pretty much said, man, you ain't want nothing to be able to talk on this here, youngin. <laughs> like, and again, I'm paraphrasing, that's, that's, but that sums up pretty much what Magic said. Like, he not going to take nothing serious from a person that ain't won a championship. Get out there and win, young fella, before you get out there and, and jump off the, jump off the, you know what I'm saying, jump off the plank, or jump off the bridge without, you know what I'm saying, without a life jacket. And... For me, how do I feel about that? My reaction side of it, because I had a few people ask me, like, hey, one, bro, you got to speak on this. Or you got to – I want to hear what you got to say about this type of thing, right? And, and you know, I ain't, I ain't nobody special, nothing like that, bro. I just got a ton of love for the game, and I'm able to give my perspective and, and things of that nature from an unbiased standpoint and as down the middle as I can. But for me, when I when I look at this, see it, hear it, and, and as far as, as – first off, I guess I'll speak from Anthony Edwards' perspective, right? For, for what he said – it's, it's, it's speaking from a standpoint of this young man is riding an all-time high, bro. Like, you got to think how old Anthony Edwards is. And he, he is right now. He's not even in his prime. He, he He's in his youthful young man, you know, young lion just getting the main type of pride. You know what I mean? Like, he, 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 he right there. And look at the success that he's had thus far. Look at what he's been able to do from an individual standpoint, the leaps and bounds just from his own individual standpoint. You know, what I mean, L look at his numbers increase across the board on all facets of it and, and the short time that he's been in the league. So but him right now, Anthony Edwards is riding all time high. They they just went to nail last season with the Dallas Mavericks. You know, what I mean, they got bumped out. We saw how that played out. But again, this young man put on a show and, and has the uh, absolute utmost confidence in his abilities as a player, plain and simple. So for him speaking and him believing that his skill set could transition to yesteryear and he'd be able to not only just compete but have some type of whether it be dominance or success in yesteryear's game of basketball, like that's that's how he's supposed to, that's the type of confidence he's supposed to have. In order for you to be great in this game of basketball and in this day and age or at the highest level, you have to have an unwavering and unbreakable type of confidence in your in yourself. And that's what a lot of these players have. Now a lot of them won't won't say it out loud. They won't say, or, or they'll say it out loud, but they won't say it in front of the masses or they won't say that in front of millions, millions of ears and eyes to hear and read it. They, 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 some of them just won't do it. You know, fortunately and unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, you know, Anthony Edwards is like that. He don't care. He, he is completely un, unfazed and unbothered by speaking his truth and what he believe in and, 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 and exuberant his type of confidence he having himself, plain and simple. So do I have an issue or problem with it? Hell no. Speak, hey, talk your ish, young man. Talk your ish. You know what I mean? Like you either gonna respect it or 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 you gonna you gonna have you gonna feel some type of way about it. You know what I mean? But <clears throat> in the same token, you know his his him being youthful and things of that nature, and he, and he even admitted he didn't really watch ball. You know the, the games back then like that and stuff too. Some of it could be you know just being neglectful of understanding that. You know what you're saying, and, and, and it might impact certain people a certain way and stuff like that. You know, being blissful ignorance or youthful ignorance, you know that type of thing. It's just one of them things where he, you know, he just he's just talking, and he talking it ish. He's not thinking about the ramifications or how people gonna feel about it. You know, that's just that's just how he believe and what he believe. But again, man, like you know, it's one of them things where you are gonna have some people, and I'm gonna flip over to Magic side. You know, obviously a multi-time champion, uh, got the name Magic, one of the faces of the league, one of the biggest rivalries in sports history between Magic and Bird, things of that nature, where you're going to have somebody uh, uh, that of that elk of that same era that you were just kind of speaking down on in some type of way, saying, you know, that this this day and age has more skills than them back then. Um, They're going to respond. The competitive nature of it, like Magic, not above that. You know, Jordan ain't going to respond, so he might laugh about it. <laughs> you know, Jordan is... 
Jordan is above certain things. He only kind of responds to people that he feel might be a threat to him, a.k.a. LeBron James. Uh, but that's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother day. But Jordan not going to respond. So Magic responded. And Magic said, I'm, I'll jump off the deep end and let him know. Win some, look, win some young fella before you come out here barking up the tree at the big dogs. Like you barking at you barking at the ones. Now Magic got a point. Um, now with the, with the, today's day and age, as far as how the game played versus back then, it's night and day. The, like back then, there was no free freedom freedom of movement or freedom of space. And a lot of people don't know what that is. So let me let me go ahead and step into the realm of educating y'all a little bit for those that didn't know, and for those that do know. Hey, we just getting a quick little reminder about this whole thing. But freedom of movement in the NBA was something they lifted because they wanted to increase the, the flow of scoring to go to a, a more high up-tempo game to bring in the masses and target the younger crowd. If you don't believe me, hey, go go check out what I'm saying and, and come back to me and let me know. Okay, I, I, I see what you mean. But nonetheless, and the NBA said this themselves, man. You can go back and look at David Stern versus Adam Silver, the motion and the trending portion of where the NBA was trending towards. You can see from the years of where you know, the, the two point, you know, two point jumpers all of a sudden started to phase out and all you were seeing with team, teams hoisting up threes left and right like crazy. You can see it as clear as day. <clears throat> but anyway, back, back to this, back to this. So the, the whole thing of freedom of movement, the NBA wanted to phase the game towards that, which meant what? They eliminated hand checking. They eliminated like pretty much. And a lot of people don't know what hand checking is when, when a defender is hand checking, that's allowing them to manipulate your body. By, by them being there to have their hands on you from a standpoint of like if you going on a crossover and you getting past them, they can they can hold hold your your hip down and control your movement of where you're going. I mean if you some of these offensive players, they, they figured out ways to neutralize defenders to be able to kind of hand check them successfully. But you know, as the NBA got got away from that, now hand checking is non existent. So that's why you don't see a lot of defenders pressing up on somebody super hard and, and putting their hands on them. So it makes a little, it makes it harder to play defense for sure. Right. So you got to take that aspect into it. Uh, Anthony Edwards is saying like all oh, skills and stuff like it's, you got freedom of movement now versus non freedom of movement. Then a lot of the players in today's day and age wouldn't be able to do all of that. Cause when you got somebody that's stronger than you able to get up and be physical with you, when you're trying to get past him and stuff like that, that, that's going to take a toll on you. But the other part is the physicality of it is you got players where you going in there and go for a layup where you get elbowed in your chest, you get elbowed in, in the thigh or something, you catching these these Charlie horses in the leg and these thigh contusions and things of that nature. All these type of things is happening. So players that was putting up buckets and scoring back then, they was figuring a way to, to first start work around that. Magic was highly skilled. Jordan highly skilled. Pippen highly skilled. Larry Bird, one of the – man, come on, man. Like, that's just to name a few. Dominique Wilkins, like, all of these players that we're thinking of that played in that Jordan era that Ant was kind of touching on saying that players nowadays are more skilled than players back then. The only difference is players nowadays are are, are more prone to shooting threes than players in, in yesteryear. And there ain't nothing changed. Ross Strickland was pretty he, – he was, if I'm not mistaken, Kyrie Irving's god, godfather. Where do you think Kyrie Irving got that handle from? Where do you think Kyrie Irving learned to manipulate defenders with certain feints and things of that nature? Where do you think killer crossover Tim Hardaway? Like, where, where do you think these players got this from? Where do you think AI got, got a lot of the a lot of the things? Like, all these players, it was all nuggets that was taken from the from yesteryear players and, and, and being introduced and used in today's day and age from these players. And a lot of people don't really even understand that. They don't look at the game and, and understand that portion of it and understand like how that whole thing it, it plays out. So what Magic is saying, he's absolutely right. But Magic is saying it from a big dog perspective, like you ain't want nothing to be able to talk on this. You want a gold medal with Team USA. Arguably, obviously led by by LeBron, Steph, and KD. So it, it, like Magic is saying it like young fella, like. I hear you, but uh, we ain't trying to hear that. Like that's that's pretty much a matter. Now I can understand both both sides and perspective of it because you know I, I'm an '80s baby, so I got to enjoy not not really being able to understand the game at the highest level as I understand it now back then. But just being able to look back then, seeing what I see, seeing what I saw versus what I see now, I'm able to understand both sides of the coin. So I can give it up to both sides how they feel about it. Now you got other players like KG that's coming out telling. Anthony Edwards, hold on, y'all, fella, pump your brakes. Calm, calm the hell down. <laughs> and, and, and saying, like, the same thing I said, bro, like, 
when you when, when the style and game of basketball now is more predicated towards allowing offensive players to to be able to have an advantage over the defender, it, it's saying it's not saying that they're more skilled. It's just saying they ha- they have more rules and, and and things in place that's given them the absolute ability to be able to showcase why it is that they're they're being put on a pedestal higher than def- than a defender is. People don't really get that, but I'm just here to break that down to y'all from that perspective of it, man. But for me, like I said, I got no issue with it. Um, you know what I mean? A lot of people ask me how I felt about it. So this is my I have no issue with it. I have no issue with Anthony Edwards popping his ish, and I have no issue with the old old savvy vet coming back and kind of, you know what I'm saying, telling the young and hell on now, you know what I'm saying, spank him up real quick, let him know, you know, Paul, spank him up and tell him, hey, Hold on, that little fella. You know what I'm saying? Settle on down, young buck. You ain't won none yet to be able to sit at this table and have these type of have these type of either conversations or comments being made. Go win some and then we can talk about it. Uh, I ain't got no issue with that. Like I said, the old heads gonna get on it because uh, you know a lot of the old heads now they look at the game and say now that it, it's it's fan friendly from a standpoint of of oohs and ahs. But when you look at the game and you don't play the game. And you grew up watching it a certain way. A lot of a lot of these old heads is turned off by the game of basketball. What they see now, they believe is watered down. They don't believe it's the same. They don't they don't get that same adrenaline rush from seeing a, a defender get into that sitting that chair and get ready to lock something down. You know, what I mean, that's not what you're getting to see. So again, what, that's why you got these old heads coming out like, nah, bro, this ain't it. And that's why you're getting rebuttals from from, and you got the younger generation saying old heads is hating. And the old heads said, "No, nah, we're not hating y'all. Just you know, what I mean, y'all, y'all, y'all are reaping the benefits of the work we put in from a standpoint of showing that you know, what I'm saying, defense wins championships. Now it's offense wins championships. Now it's it's offense do this and offense do that. Offense sell tickets, you know, them type of things. So the old old heads ain't hating. They just saying like they not enjoying this this day and age of basketball like they did when they played because when they played it was real competition. That's what their belief is." If you ask any of the old heads, they'll tell you flat out, it was anytime we step on the court, I'm better than you. I don't care the environment. I don't care what game it is. Uh, none of that. I'm better than you in every facet, plain and simple. If you don't believe me, go pull up any interview of any old player, and I guarantee you at some part in, in, in a part of that interview, they're going to say competition or competitive edge or competitive this. That's going to come up at one point because back then, no matter where they were, they competed. They did not care. They competed. Nowadays, you got it's, it's a different type of competition. You got all star games that's damn near both teams is almost scoring 200 points. You know, what I mean, like it then turned into literally just like a I don't even know what to call it, man. It's like it's like literally like a practice or a scrimmage. Uh, I would just say it's like flag football. And you can't even like it's like a flag football practice type of thing, like. I don't know how else to really explain it and, and not make it shun it too bad or make it sound too bad, but it's just not the same from a competitive edge or competitive standpoint, the energy towards and none of that. It's just not the same. But y'all, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. That's just, again, my quick take on how I feel about, you know, it's in the whole situation, everybody clapping back at Anthony Edwards for the comments he made. Again, I didn't have it on the screen the whole time for y'all to read that. And, and just saying, you know, saying how Magic came back and what he said. And again, you got other other vets that's out there clapping back at it too. Some of them are saying, "Hey, they can they they appreciate they appreciate you know what I mean Anthony Edwards popping his ish, and they appreciate Magic coming out and popping his ish." Like, hold on now. And then you got players that's gonna take it a step further, saying, you know, players in the league couldn't play in yesteryear. And then you got yesteryear players saying, you know, that they'd be able to dominate in this day and age and stuff like that. But, again, it's all different, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of y'all. And make sure, again, you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, if you wish to support the channel, you see that information right there. It's in the description of the video as well. Uh, if you want to leave a super thanks, feel free to do that. If you don't know what that is, bag out, hit the like button. Four icons over to the right. See where it says thanks. Click that. Follow the instructions. And you can support the channel that way, man. But again, I appreciate y'all coming through. I'll be back with y'all another one. We out of here. Y'all be healthy and be safe, man. We out.